We'll remove the tub faucet first. The fasteners right there, it uh, takes a 530 second uh, hex bit, which I already have in the ratcheting screwdriver. So let's get this lined up. Plus, there it goes. I'm going to give it a try. I'll probably loose by now. There it goes. Okay, I'll soak this in vinegar overnight. Okay, everything in the wash bin. I'll just use some uh, vinegar. And actually, I'm running out of vinegar, so I'll just mix some hot water in to cover the rest up and let this soak overnight. This is the next day. The faucet doesn't look that great, so it's just easier to buy a new one for $15 or $20. This uh, is kind of a little bit loose right here, so I'll just caulk this up. Cleaning off the spout pipe with some 150 grit sandpaper. This spout pipe is a little bit loose. And I don't like plumbing fixtures to move around. So I'm going to glue it up with some ceramic towel adhesive. I just plant a, a little bit around the base. There's a open hole right above it. I'm using towel adhesive because I just happen to have a big tub of it left over, but I suppose you could also use grout or just whatever you have on hand. Doing the faucet installed now, I'm just following the instructions for half inch copper stud out which uh, actually measures five eighths instead of half an inch. My first mistake was buying a universal tub spout that replaces all connections. This tub spout consists of eight different parts that you assemble or attempt to assemble. And of course, it leaked. So, uh, if you want to see the right part to uh, use on a half inch tub spout, which actually measures five, eight, five eighths of an inch, uh, you can just fast forward to the end of the video. If you look closely, you can see the water pouring down the universal tub spout. The uh, Danco tub spout, actually, I can't get this fillet head tight enough to just keep it from. Uh, spinning around. So I, I, I'm going to just pull it off and put the original uh, spout back on and probably return this and the other style had a hex key where you can put a wrench on it and get quite a bit more torque. If you have a pipe sticking out of the wall that measures 5 8 OD the spout you want to use is the one compatible for half-inch slip connections. The correct faucet with the slip connections went on so quick with no leaks. I didn't get good footage and I wasn't going to risk taking it off and getting leaks. It's basically the reverse of the faucet that was on. You just slide it on and then tighten the screw on the bottom of the faucet.